Previously on Shiny Lock with A-Drive. Time out. I feel like the character that she is and the fact that she's got ghost Pokemon, she does not look like she'd be like the ghost type trainer. She looks like she should be like the water type trainer. You know what I mean? So Ozzy goes down and I believe that is it for Phoebe here. If I'm not mistaken. Mohawk, all those guys getting it. Yeah, we do. Oh darn, I've gone and lost. So Phoebe finally goes down. <laughs> YouTube, this is your boy Dan, aka A Job. But you guys, episode 30 of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. If you guys are super duper hyped, show your love on that like button down below. 800 likes would be absolutely marvelous for this Elite Four run here on the first ever Randomizer Shiny Lock. I think that's deserving of some hype. I mean, check out my game time, guys. I've been 60 hours. We're gonna be at 60 hours for this Let's Play. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Um, so anyway, we do have a question of the day today. What is your favorite ice type Pokemon? Let me know what you guys are thinking. We're gonna we're gonna be jumping in to uh, into the next member of the Elite Four here, which is the Ice type Elite Four member. Of course, it's randomized, so who knows what they're actually gonna have. But it's kind of a tough question for me to answer in terms of Ice types. There's really not that many. But I gotta go with my homie Mamoswine. In all honesty, I would have to pick Mamoswine as my favorite because one, it's an absolute monster and competitive. Two, it looks really really cool. And three, it made a Pokemon like Poliswine like way way cooler than it otherwise would have been. So. Um, Palace Wine's cool, but Mammoth Wine is way cooler. So, can't really hate on that. So, I'm really, really stoked uh, about Mammoth Wine. But we're going to find out what Glacia has in store for us on this randomizer. She's going to freeze the entire ground here. And I, I don't know how we're going to get across it. We're just going to skate our way across. I wish it made it slippery. Like, I wish you just, like, pu push forward and it slid you all the way forward. You know what I mean? That would have been, been a good little feature. Pokemon dropped the ball on that one. Maybe Pokemon Z. They'll fix it. Um, but here's Glacia, the Ice-type gym leader, or Elite Four member. And uh, we'll see what she's rocking with. I'm glad I don't have to deal with the hail this time. I think I'm gonna lead with Nugget once again, and hopefully Nugget can carry us to victory here. We'll see what happens. Let's do it. Glacia, the Elite Four member. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice type moves. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. Hmm, I wonder what you will show me. What a relief it would be if I could, for once, have a serious battle against an opponent. And then she just turns her head and looks super creepy at you. That's how she does it. That's how Glacia does it. Alright, what does Glacia work with? What is she rocking with? Oh man, I'm actually really worried about her. She's got a Delphox. Okay. Alright. So, I don't know what moves Delphox has. But I'm thinking I could just click Earthquake here and hope that it does not kill me in one hit. I have no idea though. I have no idea what moves he has. But it's not like I have a really great switch into a fire type Pokemon anyway. Um, I mean, I could go to Spyro, but he could also go for a Psychic type move. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake and see what happens. He has Will-O-Wisp. He is gonna hit us with the Will-O-Wisp, so he's gonna burn us. Not a huge deal though. This Earthquake is still gonna do a good amount, I think. Um, kinda wish I Rock Blasted, but that's okay. That does over half, so it does do a good amount of damage. Now, I'm debating on whether I should just click Earthquake again and knock this thing out. Click Stealth Rocks, heal up. I don't know. I'm going to click Earthquake, though. Went for Psychic. I think we should be able to live this Psychic. I really do. Oh, are we going to live the Burn, though, too? Are we going to live the Burn and the Psychic, guys? I don't know. We're going to beat the Delphox here, but it's going to come down to how much this Burn does. Mm, how much is it going to do? Nugget. 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 16 HP. Oh. Whew. In comes a print plup. Much less scary than the Del Fox. I am a million bajillion percent switching out here. Um, and I think we're sure we're gonna go into we're gonna go into Polaris. We're gonna go into Polaris here. 100 percent gotta switch out though. Absolutely no business of Nugget being in there. I don't really don't really foresee Nugget doing too much while well, it's burned against the print plup. So we're all gonna go over the water type move. I'm gonna twist its spoon, hit this. Oh, I skillfully dodged it. Look at that. We just twist the spoon, hit this thing with some psychics right now. Hit him with a spoon right now in the face. That's two KO. I'll take it. I'll take it. A little print up here. Not quite the Empoleon that it wanted to be. I'm actually thinking about it. I don't know what I would have done to beat Empoleon. I mean, I guess Mohawk close combat probably would have been the best bet. But realistically, I don't really have that many answers for Empoleon. All right, so Polaris gets some experience. Nugget grows to 49. Motham, the second Motham of the playthrough. 
of the Elite Four. I'm gonna click Power Jam. Yeah, we're just gonna body the Motham. Both times Motham has come out against our little homie uh, Polaris here, and both times it's gotten Das Boot. But that is my mascot, and I, I love, I love it. I love you, Motham. I really do. Sorry that I have to Power Jam your face in. Haunter. Okay. I am gonna go out on a limb here and say that I can outspeed it and click Psychic. I do, and we're gonna not say this is gonna be like the easiest Elite Four member. Unless she has something crazy going on at the end. Her team is like super weak. I don't know. I don't know why. Conk Elder. That is not weak, ladies and gentlemen. That is a Conk Elder. Luckily for us, I have a Twisted Spoon. I don't think Conk can kill us in one hit. But we can kill it in one hit. It does not have an Assault Vest. And that is that. That was... Where's my easy button? That was easy. Sorry, Glacia. That was easy. You and your Pokemon, how hot your spit spirits burn. Your spits burn. They, my spits burn so much. My spirits. You and your Pokemon, how fiercely your spirits burn. She just said that. My icy moves pale in the face of all-consuming flames. Advance to the next room. There you will learn how fearsome the Pokemon League can truly be. All right, so we are going to be taking on the Dragon-type Elite Four member next again. Who knows if he's even going to have a Dragon Pokemon. I have no idea. That is the beauty and mystery of the Randomizer, of course. I'm going to get a full heal, too. I think I got to... Get that full heal, and I think the rest of the team, like legitimately Polaris, like soloed that pretty for the most part. Um, so we're in pretty good shape here. I think we're doing really good. Don't forget our question of the day today: What is your favorite Ice type Pokemon? And of course, if you did enjoy this episode and you're hyped for the next one, hit that like button down below. That would be absolutely marvelous. We're gonna keep it rolling. I'll see you guys tomorrow. My name is Dan. I'll go by Adrian. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace.